Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, welcome to another video and uh, the day when I started using OnePlus 5, I was thinking should I release this particular video or not because the phone is relatively old and a lot of people would have figured out how to do that. But looks like people are telling me and my subscribers especially are telling me that the way I make tutorials and guides, that's the simplest. So here's a video for you guys owning the OnePlus 5 and you can try this on the 5T as well. The file will be different. I'll link that in the description. So you can go ahead and unlock the bootloader and how to install TWRP, that's what this video is about. So if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390, go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video and it's been a while that you guys have been requesting for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install TWRP and root the OnePlus 5. Now this is not going to be a long video by any means but there are a lot of things that we are going to do. So let me first give you a heads up then I'll let you know what files we need and then we'll start the actual process. First things first, we will of course need a OnePlus 5 which has enough charge, preferably more than 30% at least. Two, it is very, very critical that you back up all the data that you have because everything, including the internal storage, will be wiped when we unlock the bootloader. Three, the situation that we are considering is that you will be unlocking the bootloader and we will be keeping the phone decrypted. In that case as well, we will have to wipe the internal storage again so that you can go ahead and flash ROMs and stay decrypted after flashing ROMs as well so that you don't have to do this again and again. Now, coming to the files that we will need, we will of course need the TWRP file which is linked in the description. We will need the latest Majisk. We will need minimal ADB and fast boot and to keep the phone decrypted, we will need the no verity opt encrypt file. Now I'll be making a video on that soon as well as to what is encrypted and decrypted and stuff like that. But for now, these are the four things that we will need. We will need a Windows based computer and we will need a OnePlus USB cable or any type C USB cable. So first things first, what we will do is we will go ahead and prepare the phone for the bootloader unlock. In order to prepare the phone for the bootloader unlock, first things first, now of course I'm run, running the latest version of Android Pi, that is 9.0.1. So this should work for that as well. Now go to about phone. Over here you will see build number. Tap on that seven times and then enter your passcode. Go back. And if you go to system, you will have developer options. Now under developer options, you need to go and enable OEM unlocking. That is for the bootloader unlock. Enter your pattern again and click enable. And also enable advanced reboot as well USB debugging and hit OK. So now the phone is prepared and I'll tell you why we enabled these three options. OEM unlock was to allow the bootloader to be unlocked after which we did USB debugging so that files can be transferred using PC and advanced reboot menu of course so that we can reboot into the bootloader and stuff. Now the next thing that we will do is we will prepare the PC for flashing TWRP and unlocking the bootloader and stuff like that. So what we need to do here is first we need to install minimal ADB and fast boot. Now the link is mentioned in the description. I will show you how to install it. All right, so double click on minimal ADB and fast boot and click yes, then click next, next. Now over here, select the drive in which you want to install the file. I will choose to install it in E drive in the root folder and hit OK. Then click next and click next again. Now just keep clicking next and hit install. Now don't launch it as yet, so hit finish. So now we have minimal ADB and fast boot installed. Now copy the TWRP file, go to the folder of minimal ADB and fastboot and paste it there. So that is done. Now we will move back to the phone to take care of remaining things. And beyond this point, there is no going back because once you unlock the bootloader, of course you can relock it and stuff, but all the data in the phone's internal memory, everything will be wiped. So considering that you've backed up everything, let's move on to the next step. Now you see that the phone has booted up into fast boot mode. What we need to do next is we need to connect the phone to the computer using the Type-C USB cable. So I'm just going to do that. 
All right, so now you can see that I've connected the USB cable to the computer and the phone in fast boot mode is now connected to the computer. So over here, we'll type in fast boot space devices. There you have it. Now this means that the device is connected properly. So now is the time to unlock the bootloader. So we'll type in fast boot space OEM space unlock and hit enter. The moment you hit enter, you will get this prompt. So you will use the volume up button to highlight unlock the bootloader message and then press the power button to unlock the bootloader. Now, once you do that, the phone will reboot and it will wipe everything to be safe because you're unlocking the bootloader so that your data is safe if you know it is an unauthorized attempt or something. But then again, it will wipe everything from recovery and then it will try to boot up again. But we need to interrupt that process once the wiping is done. So the moment you see that the wiping is done, now after this, what I request you to do is disconnect the USB cable and press and hold volume up plus power. Now that we are back in fast boot mode and in unlocked bootloader mode, just go to the minimal ADB and fast boot folder, right click this and click rename. Now the blue section there you see, right click again and click copy. And again, go to CMD here and type in fast boot space flash space recovery and then right click and then dot img and hit enter okay now as you see on the screen the flash is complete so you can choose to now you can go here and you can select the volume up button so keep clicking on it till the time you see recovery mode written over here and then press the power button so it will boot into recovery mode now hold on we are not done yet there is just one last thing that is left to do so what we need to do now is we need to go to our folder where all the files are downloaded and we need to select Magisk and no verity treble zip copy it now over here swipe to allow modifications and first thing that we need to do, of course, is decrypt the system. Go to wipe, go to format data and type in Y E S and hit the tick mark. It'll wipe everything. So the decryption is done. Now go to the home screen of TWRP and go to reboot and recovery and then do not install. Now remember, this step is very, very critical. Do not directly go and reboot the system because you will again be encrypted and then you will have problems so wait for the phone to reboot into recovery okay so we are back to recovery again swipe to allow modifications now copy these two files and you will have the phone connected to the pc of course so copy this to your phone's internal memory and paste it there you have it, both the files are here. Now, go to install. First install Magisk 18. Swipe to confirm flash. Wait for the flash to complete. All right, so now, once Magisk is flashed, you need to go to install again and select no verity treble zip. Swipe to flash. And it says patch applied to treble structure successfully. So reboot system, do not install. Now the first boot will take anywhere between two to five minutes. So please be patient. But now you have a phone, a OnePlus 5 that is a, having an unlocked bootloader, has root access and you can easily flash ROMs. Remember, every time you flash a new ROM, the last thing that you should flash is the no verity file. If you like this video, guys, like, share and subscribe and stay tuned for more awesome stuff on smartphone tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.